welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 53. And Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. And it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made. And of course, once again, we're in the kitchen. I know you guys are probably getting so bored of being in the kitchen, but the reason why is because nutrition is very important. And I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of inquiries about protein supplements. I know it's so confusing. There's so many different proteins out there. You got, you know, whey concentrates, you got whey isolates, you have soy, you have casein, you have egg white, you have all these different types of proteins. And you're thinking, which ones should I use? So that's why this week it is which protein is best for you. Now, like I said, I got a lot of emails about this particular subject. Just want to read one right now. This is from Steve Ortega. And Steve wrote to me a couple weeks ago, but he said, how do you feel about protein powders, whey versus soy? How much protein is too much in one meal for a 200 pound man? and how much protein is too much for a 124-pound woman, and also is giving a 10-year-old a protein shake a good idea, 24 grams of whey, roughly. Thanks again for your thoughts and encouragement. Now, Steve, I'm glad you wrote me because, like I said, a lot of people have questions about what types of proteins they should be having and how much and at what age, and um, so we're going to get into that right now. So first thing that you want to know, and I'm going to be putting some notes up right now, is that it's generally suggested that the average person, you know, whether you are exercising or not, should be eating about uh, 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram that you weigh. And you're thinking, okay, well, what is that? All right, well, let's break it down. Okay, one pound is equivalent to 2.2 kilograms. So for instance, uh, we're gonna jot this down, put it up for you guys to kind of follow along. Let's just say the 200 pound adult average man weighs, like I said, 200 pounds, so that would make him about 91 kilograms. So 0.8 grams of 91 kilograms would be roughly 73 grams of protein. So this 200 pound male would want to eat about 73 grams of protein at least in his day to make sure that he's getting the proper amount of protein daily in his intake. Okay, now for a woman, let's just say the average 130 pound female. She weighs, like I said, 130 pounds, so that would be about 59 kilograms. So her daily intake of protein would come out to about 47 grams of protein, which is about 0.8 or 80% of the 59 kilograms that she weighs. Now, like I said, that is for the average person who is just exercising maybe a few days a week, can't really fit it in, just kind of going about the day. Because a lot of times it's so easy to eat those carbohydrates. You want to make sure you're getting good protein into your system. Now you're thinking though, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there want more protein. You want to build stronger muscles, build strong bones. So you're thinking, Jen, you know, only 70 grams of protein for a 200 pound guy, that, that sounds like that's not enough. Well, for you, it may not be enough. So what I did, I broke it down. Let's just uh, make an example right here. We're gonna pop it up on the screen. Now for a strength trainer or a bodybuilder, if you wanna put on some mass, not necessarily a professional bodybuilder, but if you wanna put on some mass, you wanna see that growth and that definition. For a man, a 200 pound adult male, um, if you wanna put on strength and uh, muscle, it's recommended about 1.7 grams per kilogram, not 0.8, because he would want to grow. So for a 200 pound adult male would be about 91 kilograms, like I said. So 1.7 grams of 91 kilograms is 155 grams of protein for the average 200 pound man. Now see, you're thinking, okay, that makes more sense, Jen. I want to put on some mass. 155 grams of protein per day is doable, and it's probably what you've been doing. Now, for the woman, 130 pound woman is about 59 kilograms. 1.7 grams of those kilograms will be about 100 grams of protein. So for uh, the average woman out there, if you want to put on a little bit more strength, a little bit more mass, probably recommended eating about one and a half to 1.7 grams of um, protein per kilogram, which would be about 100 grams of your daily, um, 100 grams per day for protein to put on that mass. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense to you guys because I get that question a lot, so I hope that I answered it. Now, okay, Jen, we know how much protein we should eat, but what kind? Like I said, there's so many supplements out there. Let's start with number one, okay? What's the, what, what's the difference between a concentrate and an isolate? Basically, the difference between it is that a concentrate 
um, it has a little bit more fillers in it. So it has a little bit more carbohydrates, a little bit more fats, in addition to the protein, high protein, that is in that blend. And you can get a concentrate in anything, in the whey, you can get it in the soy, but they also sell the isolates. The isolates cost a little bit more. So I'm gonna get more into that in just a moment, but just in a nutshell, isolates are best doesn't necessarily mean that that could be best for you because it is a little bit more money. So if you're looking for something higher quality, an isolate would do, but if you're looking to save a little bit of bucks, a concentrate will do as well. Now, first thing, the whey isolate. A whey isolate is um, any whey proteins are derived from about 20% from milk protein. The other 80% is from casein, which we'll get to in a moment. But whey protein is derived 20% of the milk protein. And the, the benefits of whey is that it uh, absorbs very quickly. And this is something that you want to possibly have post-workout, within that 30 minutes after your workout. Because whey absorbs quickly, you wanna get into your system for that recovery and that repair. So that's a great thing to eat after your strength training. Um, and it's also very soluble in shakes and in water. So like I said, for that rapid absorption, they'll be perfect for that for after your workout. And it's easy to digest. A lot of people say that the whey is a lot easier on their stomach versus the soy um, and, and the other higher lactose uh, protein powders. Now, Steve, the question you had about giving a child a 10-year-old protein uh, supplements or protein shake, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. The only thing is, is what is it leading to? What are the reasons why you're giving your child a protein shake? Um, now, a 10-year-old, um, typically children should not be exercising um, to necessarily gain specific results, unless you're in a sport, but high impact training for children typically is not recommended because their bones, their tendons, their joints, everything is still growing. And especially if you haven't hit puberty yet, your body's going through a lot of changes. So you may not want to mess with something like that. It's good to be active. It's good to get your kids out there and, and challenge them. Um, but when it comes to protein shakes and supplements, um, really, there's no reason why your child shouldn't be getting the recommended amount of protein in their daily nutrition. So if you're questioning the amount of protein they're getting per day, I would make sure that they're getting uh, the right amount of meats and milk and, um, and other high protein foods, beans, um, cereal, stuff like that, making sure they have a well-balanced diet because the fats in a well-balanced diet for children, they need that for growth. Um, you know, there have been studies that, that kids nowadays, you know, I'm not talking about the obese children. I'm talking about some that are maybe have parents that are really health conscious. Sometimes that works against the child's health because those essential fats in meats and poultry and milk are needed for that child to grow. So, I mean, if they just want a little, you know, if they see daddy's eating it or mommy's eating it and they want a little some, you know, just give them maybe about four ounces of it, mix it with milk, make it with some fruit and um, tell them, explain to them, that, yeah, you know, I'm doing this to be healthy, but, you know, son, you're healthy as it is, you're eating great, and this is just because daddy's in a hurry and he can't, you know, get a lot of stuff in. But if you want to give it to him in doses, that's fine. Just make sure that there's no message there that maybe they don't feel like their body is good enough and they need to bulk up because your child is definitely too young to do that right now and to even worry about that. So let them be a kid. But like I said, if he wants to try it, he can try it. So I hope that this answers your question, all of you out there. I know it's, it's been a long-winded podcast, but I hope you appreciate some of the information. I hope it answers some of the questions that you have. Um, let me know. I want some feedback on this one, especially you can comment in the comment section if you're watching this on MadeFitTV.com or if you're on YouTube or Viddler, you can comment as well. But you can um, ask me any questions or if you want your viewer mail read on, um, on the podcast, you can contact me through um, Ask Jenny right at the top of the screen on MadeFitTV.com or email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com. And, um, and also we are on iTunes. You can subscribe through iTunes. MadeFitTV is the keyword. And also you can contact me through Twitter. I'm at Jenny DiDonato and I'm on Facebook. Jennifer DiDonato is where I am there. And I answer all emails and all questions through all those sources of, of ways of contacting me. So don't be shy, don't be afraid and subscribe to our podcast right here on MadeFitTV.com. So thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. Start pumping iron and start drinking that protein.